Aloha everyone, I'm Kimberly Pine and we are here in Waianae at Kapamana Farms and Cafe and we're here to learn about their sustainability practices. So come on in and join us and we'll have a lot of fun together. So it's 2017 and we moved here in, in 1977. So this is our 40th year. So kind of before the whole, whole foods movement and organic movement, Father Phil and our founders moved out here and started to live within their view of sustainability. And at the core of that was growing our own healthy organic food on our farm and linking it to our cafe to sustain ourselves. And now kind of fast forwarding 40 years later, we have a full on production organic farm on 20 acres, producing food not only for our own organic cafe, but provide it for other restaurants as well. Altogether, our electricity bill between our two sites was like $15,000 a month. And we got someone to invest and actually build up 250 kilowatt photovoltaic solar farm to provide all of the solar energy um, for all of our use, 100% of our solar energy. We didn't put up a single dime. And of course we have to pay for that, but at a much, much reduced rate. So we'll be spending five to $7,000 a month instead of $15,000, and it will all be created by the sun. So that surplus will then be contributed to our social programs. And we have people experiencing homelessness and people with disabilities working on the farm working in the cafe. So that's all part of the sort of people sustainability. Sustainability is also uh, about those with means and those without means. And we really try to incorporate people experiencing homelessness as well. The or organic way or the organic path is healing to the earth, healing to the land. It doesn't destroy it, it enriches it. And then also the other benefit to it is that we avoid all chemical and pesticide additives on the plant or in the soil. And so much of these have been proven to be really deleterious to one's health. We decided that we would no longer do this and we would grow things in the most healthy possible way that heals the soil and heals the individual who eats the product. Well, we have a variety of great biodegradable boxes from a variety of companies. Um, these are our, our big players. We've got three different size, three different size boxes. And um, we've also got some cups that are biodegradable, soup cups, lids. They're a little more expensive than a styrofoam, but it's you know it's the right thing to do, and it's the way we're going to do it. It's just the economy, the the economy of it. Um, the more people that, that buy, of course, the, the price will go down, just like anything else. You know, everything we do, our entire paradigm is about sustainability. And, you know, we take the business of feeding people, the responsibility of feeding people, very seriously. So it manifests itself in, in everything we do, from respect for the the process of cooking, respect for the ingredients. Um, we make sure we don't waste you know, anything we, when we're chopping vegetables, any end pieces will go into vegetable stock or they may get fed to the chickens or it may end up in compost. Well, thank you so much, Chef. And You're welcome. Well, you can see a lot of people are already doing this and we really encourage more restaurants to not just cook, but also to help us live better lives. So thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, thank you. Yeah, right.